Now that we've built our program, it's time to give life to this monstrosity. Go up to the top and change some settings first by clicking Flash and then Configure Flash Tools. Make sure that you have the appropriate flash programming by selecting the appropriate debugger. I use an ST device, so I'll use the ST Link debugger. Next, click Settings and make sure you have your appropriate programming algorithm as well. I use the medium flash version of the ST device, so I'll be picking the medium flash algorithm. Also make sure that it says erase sectors up in this top part here. Next click the debug section and make sure that it's also set to the SW port. Go to the debug tab and make sure that the debugger here is also set to the appropriate setting. So I again use an ST device, so I'll use the ST debugger. Click OK. And then go up to the top and click the build option and then click download. This is what it'll look like. That means that it's happy. You can also check the bottom output to make sure the process is done correctly. And now we're ready to run. To start our debug session, we'll click the debug menu and then click start stop debug session. It'll give us a memory warning because we're cheap and we're using the free version of this software, but that's okay. This is the debug screen and you'll notice a few differences, mainly that the registers are listed on the left hand side. This is great for debugging as it lets you know what each register contains at any given moment inside the program. It also lists the special registers, which we'll get to in a later video. In the program screen, you can see your program that you've written, and the arrows indicate which line is currently being executed, so right now the move command is being executed. I'll just step through this program using the F11 key as a keyboard shortcut. So we expect it to move a number one into the R1 register, and it does. You can see this in the left hand side. Next we'll move a number two into the R2 register. Again on the left hand side you can see that this happens. And then we'll finally add both of those numbers and put them into the R0 register. There's the number three that we expected and then we'll branch back to the reset handler label. And now you've just run your first assembly program. Congratulations, I knew you could do it.